Today we are looking at the H110 Pro BTC Plus kit from Parallel Miner. Now what this does is gets rid of your need for an ATX PSU completely and allows you to power everything through a single server power supply. Welcome to the Rabbit Mining YouTube channel. Please hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, and all the good stuff that goes along with it. So today we are looking at the ASRock H110 Pro BTC kit. It comes in two variations. One, uh, six GPUs, and two, 13 GPUs. Now the only difference really is the power supply. So this is the six GPU version. This is a 1200 watt server power supply. This can run on 110 to 120 volts as well. But if you do put it on that, it is only rated maximum of 900 watts. So it is recommended to use have at least 200 volt plus for this PSU. Now for the 13 GPU selection, you would be given this bad boy. This is a 2400 watt server PSU and it needs 200 volt plus in order to run. It will not run on a standard 110 to 120 volt. So with all that being said, the only difference between the kits is I do not have the Pico kit. I am using the ZSX version and ultimately the ZSX is this breakout board right here. More specifically, this is the ZSX amp. Now the ZSX amp does have an app reacher here, which is your DC volts. And this is your direct current. This is the power you will get going to all your cars and everything before even going through your power supply into the wall, which would be at your like 94% efficiency, depending on your power supply. So example, 100 watts on 94%. On here, it would say 100, uh, 100 watts, but at the wall, it would be saying like 106 watts. So just to clarify this, this will give you a rating of what your breakout board is pushing out to your cards and straight DC voltage. So it is quite handy to have. Anything we do talk about, the links are in the description for all of these items. So feel free to check that out. But ultimately, here is our kit. So we do have a Molex splitter because one of the main components about this motherboard here is it actually has two Molex ports for the PCI Express slot. So you guys can see that there's one down here and another one right up here. So those two do need to be powered to power them. We do have a Molex splitter. Now that Molex splitter is going to run into this six pin to single Molex. Just stick these together and there is only one way they can go. They won't go in the other way. So as you can see this way, they won't fit. Just flip them around. Make sure you follow the flat end to the curved end. Stick those together, push them in there so that is in that is like so now we would take this end put it into our zsx breakout board any six pin will work ultimately you want to leave it out of the way because you would be filling all these up with gpus so i'm just going to stab this right in here like so and then i'm going to jump these straight into these molex ports right here make sure you line the edges up correctly again they only go in one way one up there and one down here. There we go. So our Molex ports are now powered. Next up, we are going to have to put in our 24 pin. So this can go in any way, I'm pretty sure. You could either stick this end to your motherboard or your ZSX, or you could run this way. This end does have your CPU power cable. And remember, you do have to plug in your CPU power cable. Some people tend to forget that and they wonder why their board will not boot. So yes, you do have to power your CPU no matter what, not just your 24 pin. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stab this right in here. That fits right in like so, boom, no problems at all. Next up, we are going to run it straight to our ZSX here. And that is in. So our ZSX and our board is in. Remember, now we do need this CPU cable in. So I'm going to go in. CPU goes right up here. Boom. And it is that simple. This is plugged in. Obviously, we need to plug in our breakout board. So we are going to do that right here. And they just push in once you line up the slot. So it's pretty, pretty quite simple. So we have all that in. Next up, we are going to have to install our SSD drive. Now this is what's going to run your actual uh, SSD drive for your Hive OS or your Windows 10 or whatever you are going to run. So I got to point out something here that there are two different markings on the ZX board. And we'll just take a look at those right quick. So here is the one of two Molex ports 
one and two and ultimately you do not want to power anything on this top one here that is close to the power supply it does say remote port and that is for remote access only so syncing up remote access from a remote module whatever not for powering anything this one right here is actually used to power your ssd drive or whatever else you need to use it is mark sata ultimately one end is a molex here that plugs into there and the other end is your sata so here you can see there is your sata plug so that will power your hard drive. So this motherboard does have a little SSD in it already, but most miners, they do use this standard 120 gigabyte SSD drive from Kingston or whoever. Ultimately a nice little cheap one. So we are gonna use this for an example as this is what most people do use. So again, line it up, make sure it is right. Plug it in there like so, nice and easy. Now you're just gonna wanna line up here, obviously. I'm sure everybody knows how to install a hard drive, but if not, just make sure everything does line up. Now we're gonna need our data SATA cable, like so. Plug that in, bang, and our SSD is good. So ultimately, everything here is set up and ready to roll. We just gotta plug it in, turn it on. You do have to put in your cards and whatnot, but this is just a test to get this thing powered up and working. So we're gonna take this to power, but there is one more point I do have to bring out before we go any further. So I do wanna point out something here. So as we can see, we have this Molex coming in. Now this is just two wires coming off your breakout board right in here. This is 12 volt. There's no five volt going in here. As you can see, these red wires, they are 12 volt or five volt, sorry. So this is 12 volt going in and 12 volt coming through based on this setup coming with your six pin out of your actual PCI Express slot of the breakout board. And some firmware of some of these motherboards, they will not boot uh, with the, unless they're detecting the five volt rail. So if you do this setup right and you have everything hooked up as is, and this does not boot up for you, then you do have to swap it around. And that's quite simple. I'll show you what to do right quick. So what you are gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna unplug this obviously. So now you won't be using this cable. Most of them will work, but some of them, again, you won't need this cable. So you're gonna pull this out and you're gonna swap over to here. So now you're gonna use the same cable as you're running on your SSD, because it does split into the SATA and the Molex right here. And all you gotta do is plug this one in. Ultimately, right up from the get-go, you can just, whoa, that one's a tough one, but it's going. All right, so it's in there. Uh, you can go right off the get-go, but this is made for the majority of them. But for some reason, again, like I said, you do need a five volt rail in these uh, Molex ports for your PCI Express slots in order for this to actually detect it and boot up. It pops up in the BIOS or something and says that it cannot find its five volt rail, it has a little picture for you and everything. So if that you run into that issue, this is your uh, problem right here. And this is how you can fix it. So there we go, it is fixed. So I'm gonna put it back in the other way. We're gonna plug this in and we're gonna have a look at it and see if it'll fire up for us. So I am over to my little test bench area here. Usually that's up here, but we're doing this because I did have to bring a card over. I do not have any DVI cables or a monitor that supports DVI. So I did need HDMI. That way I could plug into that card so we could see this thing actually boot up. Now power supplies, they don't usually come with a power cable. This is a C14 plug. So for a cable, you would need C13, which is your standard ATX type of power supply cable and stuff like so, like that. And then ultimately to whatever end, wherever you live to your type of power outlet. I do want to point out before we actually fire this thing up here is this cable here, the 24 pin and everything. So this section is only rated for 180 watts. So what that means, that's 180 watts between your motherboard, your CPU and everything coming off there. So you do not want to plug any GPUs into the board itself. So like a time 16 saw, if you were to plug a GP in the, GPU in there, that could potentially take you over that 180 watt rule and that could end up shorting or frying something over here. So you are always wanna gonna use your risers and ultimately power them by six pin cables as well. And with a server power supply and a breakup board, you have unlimited amount of PCI Express slots. Nothing to worry about no matter what card setup you do have. Okay, so let's boot this thing up and see exactly what happens and hopefully everything is working. It is all hooked up right. So we plug that in, everything's looking good. Now there's one thing I did want to point out. I didn't even have to hit the power button, so we'll come to that. Let me just come over here and show you. So there's a power button at the front of the breakout board. Uh, if you do have a power failure, if it's left on, it will come back on as we just witnessed. So ultimately it obviously was on, so I did not even have to turn it on itself. And this does only turn off the breakout board. 
So we are running, everything is looking good and smooth. Now you will notice we are not booting anything up yet. What could be going wrong? Well, if, you don't, if you're unfamiliar with this board, there's actually a power button right here. Can you see it? So right here, we are gonna push that. That will engage everything. And now wait like a second and you will see we are start booting up. So right there, there we are. So we are live, everything is working as intended. Perfectly fine, no ATX power supply used whatsoever. 100% server power supply. We are running this board, we are running this card. Now all you do is load it up full of cards and hash away. Just gonna go a quick recap here for you guys. So as you can see the 24 pin is coming around and going to the 24 pin in the motherboard. Now, the 24 pin also has your 8 pin CPU cable. Your CPU cable must be plugged in as well. Do not forget that cable. Yes, some people do forget it. So just a reminder, make sure you do plug in your CPU as well. It does need power. Next up, we have our 6 pin that does go to our Molex. So our 6 pin out of our breakout board. Again, this is 12 volt coming out. And it goes into our Molex splitter. And our Molex will split into the two ports on the H110 Pro BTC Plus to power all this. Now, if it does not work and it's not detecting the five volt rail, like I said, some do need that five volt rail. You're gonna have to unplug this. Well, not this one here, but this red, red wire here is the five volt rail. So you're gonna have to unplug it from here. And ultimately you would just plug in to the SATA here, the other Molex that is coming onto your SATA of your hard drive. It splits out of the same Molex connector. And this would go into here instead and you will detect your five volt rail and one last reminder 180 watts max is coming off this 24 pin split between the cpu and everything in the motherboard so you are going to have to use risers individually do not put a gpu into this time 16 slot you should use a riser that way you are powering your riser through your six pin coming out of your breakout board so that pretty much does sum up this video again if you ever unplug anything do anything make sure you do turn the power off do not do anything while it is turned on so thanks for watching guys hope you like this video i'll catch you on the next one rabbit out thanks for watching this video guys if you enjoyed this video please consider watching one of these other videos hitting that subscribe button hitting that like button we do a live stream every sunday and discord link is in the description as well Thanks everybody again and rabbit out.